Hello, I'm here to do another pick review. This time it's the Jim Dunlop Prime Tone. Uh, it's a 1.0. I've heard it's their answer to the uh, blue chip pick. Um, unfortunately, I've never had a chance to try the blue pick, but we'll try check it out. Uh, I'm going to compare with the Fender uh, Heavy celluloid and also with the uh, Altex 1.0 because um, I Jim Dunlop 1.0 Altex. Uh, just I heard they are made from similar material. So we'll compare them just to see what they're all like. Um, so first we'll try it on acoustic. So here's the celluloid. The Altex. And the Prime Tone. Okay, we'll try some chords. There's the celluloid. The Altex. And the Prime Tone. Electric, Let's see what that sounds like. It's just a single cut electric, um, middle pickup, um, no effects, and uh, into an amp. And uh, first, we'll try the celluloid. <laughs> And then here's the Altex. By the way, this is a solid state amp, so sorry for amp, tube amp enthusiasts. Here's the uh, prime tone. Okay, now we'll try some chords. This is the celluloid. Alrighty. Um, okay, so just trying them out. Um, I did notice a difference between the three of them. Um, the both the alt text and the prime tone sounded a bit fuller than the significantly. Uh, or noticeably fuller than the celluloid, um, and this prime tone did sound fuller than the Altex. Um, you know, not not just uh, like I find these celluloids tend to highlight the higher frequencies. Uh, things like Delrin and uh, Toratex tend to nylon tend to highlight more the lower frequencies or the mid frequencies, um, but uh, Altex and the prime tone I find they it's a bit more full range. Um, so do I like the prime tone? Yes. Um, I would consider getting getting more of these in the future. So, but I'm still checking out all different picks. So, um, so anyway, if you've tried out the prime tone or have any thoughts, please leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, please click like. Um, and hope you have a great day and enjoy your journey of uh, music.